So we're just pretty much going to go ahead and play. It's only a 14 minute game, well just over 14 minutes. <coughs> he wins after a certain point. Pretty pretty easily, we'll speed up to two times. And you know we're going to place a regular pylon on 9. Perhaps a little late, only 15 minerals so it could be faster. It could be it could be a lot faster. We're just gonna go to not your rocks, rivets. So it could be faster. It was a uh, yeah. We'll give him nearly perfect, a nearly perfect point on placement. And we're gonna go on him. And what does he see? He sees a pool that's nearly done. So to him, that should say a ten or eleven pool, which means. Links aren't going to be for a while. So, links aren't going to be for a while, and he's placing a forge down. I'm just going to pause it while I explain. <coughs> with the forge going down, it means he can forge fast expand. However, with the 10 or 11 pool, it means links aren't going to be out for another, say, minute and a half, and at that, it will be four links. In that minute and a half, he could um, put, put a gateway down and get a zealot out. Um, because as you'll see when I press play now, this forge is going to be up, but it's going to be useless for quite a few time, quite a long time. He doesn't see an expansion. Um, he doesn't use his forge straight away. Number one rule of when you're building an, uh, a building is you use it straight away. You want to make use of it. But he throws down the forge and then the gateway. And as he sees, he sees two links. But if he'd done a gateway, which as I predicted there wouldn't be that many links, we'll just go to overall and his queen's out, he's up, but he has he's gonna go over here, we're gonna go units he has four links, which is what we said he would have so he had the forge down, now he's going the gateway he could have gone gateway, <coughs> got a zealot out and then gone forge, or gateway, two zealots and a forge or double gateway, which is what I actually have my notes, as you'll see oh, wait there just jump back. We just jump to where we were. There we go. So we're just going to backtrack a little bit. Here we are. And uh, he places the gateway. Still hasn't used the forge. You you really need to utilize the forge. If you're going to throw it down early, you want to utilize it. Get a cannon out. Place the cannon. But without placing the cannon, you've got a forge which isn't being used. So, it's, see, and there's the cannon, but that's a wasted forge. That forge has been up for a good minute and a half. So, we, it's been up, and it's been pretty much wasted minerals. He could have gone Zealot Forge, he could have gone gate, two gateways, and a Zealot. Well, two Zealots would have been out by now, if my theory is correct. Two Zealots would have been out. Two Zealots is ample enough time to stop, say, four links. But it was up for a very long time. Uh, the forge is up for a very long time without being used which means if it's up without being used it means you could have built another building in its place and used that building which to me would have been would have been a lot better, a lot more ideal and now he's using his forge to get the upgrades which is pretty standard against Zerg uh, he's just getting the warp gate which is also pretty standard he's one over and now he's perfect this one should come down here yep yeah, which means he has pretty good link count um, it's been a long time it's been how long since he scouted two minutes and also uh, something I didn't mention sorry is when he was here with his uh, with his drone he saw the initial put the, uh, the initial, initial gas or the initial gas I should say before leaving as well I'll show you now he, he doesn't he doesn't check the gases so he's here right now and then he just leaves he should have definitely checked the gases before leaving late gas <coughs> <coughs> sorry late gas could mean that the guy's turtling he's going for the fast expansion which he did he went for the quick expansion um, he could be massing links, which is highly unlikely against uh, against 
Prolos, which means he's most probably going to go for the fast expand, which means he'll have few links, which is well cool to four. And if we go to everyone, Elias, he's gone for the fast expansions. Very few offensive units. Well, no offensive units, to be honest, except for the crawler. So, yep, yeah, by seeing that there was no gas, he would have been able to tell it would have been fast expansion, or the guy was going to mass links. Either way, he could have counteracted it, but right now, he's playing very, very blind. See? he What, what he sees is a pool. And his his uh his base. So he can't he doesn't see anything at all right now and it's he's blind. It's blind. <coughs> and right now this was good. I, I asked him whether it was intentional or by accident and he said it was intentional, placing this pylon right here. That was Ling's and getting getting rammed back in the mineral line, missing the uh the the cannon. So now links can come in and then all get pretty much trampled by the photo photon cannon. Also, another thing, if he'd scouted, he would have seen when he'd seen that, he could have definitely been with more confidence gone double gate gateway into fast zealots. Into zealots. He could have definitely done that with very with high confidence. Because he would have saw that would have been no gas, so mass links if it's masslings, one cannon isn't going to stop masslings anyway. Um, masslings, I should say. Um, and good, also, just on a side note, good mineral usage right now. Um, his net, he hasn't pile blocked himself so far. He still hasn't got, he still hasn't got, he's just, still hasn't got a, he's just threw his robo down. Um, which means now he can scout with knobs. Idealistically, should have threw it down sooner. Uh, in first instead of the council. Just so I can get the odds out a lot, lot quicker. Um, he throws down more gateways. Um, I'll just pause it and I'll tell you his final plan so you can see the direction he's heading in his train of thought. He is going to get Blink Stalker. He is going to get Blink Stalker. He is going to get. Ah, um, oh, can't War Prism. I think they called that. I can't remember. Nine's going blank quite a bit. Um, but yeah, he'll be doing that. He'll go around the map. Uh, he'll place his pile on. Um, he'll place place his pylon, and then he'll use that as a backup, a backup warp him, but he will use the warp prism as a um, what am I thinking of? Um, a traveling pylon. He he'll he'll go, he'll open it, he'll warp in, he'll walk a bit more. When he can warp in again, he'll open it, he'll warp in. So it's got a continuous flow of units into his main army. That's his main train thought right now. That's where he's heading. As you can see, he's got robotics facility. He's got one facility. He's getting blank. And he's getting mass gateway. If Zerg had seen this, it would have been very, very obvious what he's doing. He's going for a mass blink stalker attack. Um, just on quick side note. Perfect. Not so perfect. He is missing one, he was missing, he misses one harvester lately, later in there. But, getting the upgrades. And he still hasn't scouted, but he's scouting now these obs. As you can see, he sees the creep spread. Still sees no offensive units. No offensive units. All he's seen so far is, and there you go, he sees the trail of links. So now he's thinking, okay, masslings, blink kite. That's all I have to do. And let's see, and there's all present. All he has to do now is just blink and kite. That is pretty much as simple as it can be. Um, he he did take too long to scout, in my opinion. And there you go. There's a manual warping. This is a very good trick to use. Most people don't utilize it. 
It's an extremely, extremely good tactic. Um, should have expanded right now. Should have definitely expanded when he saw this and he only saw Masslings. I think he should have expanded. Because his mineral usage isn't that great for it to be an all-in. Um, he should be pretty much on zero minerals right now if it's an all-in. And he isn't. He still has a stockpile of minerals. And a stockpile of gas which he hasn't used. So he definitely should be expanding right now. In-game, if you intend to go for an all-in, and you get to the point where you're thinking, okay, I'm going to all-in, and you see you have a crap ton of minerals, and you haven't used them efficiently, definitely expand. It's the, it's, it's the safer option to do. If you've if you've seen it, um, if you see, yeah, you check minerals, you haven't used them effectively, don't carry on with the all-in because it won't work anymore. It's not just one gigantic push. You're gonna have, you're still gonna have <coughs> units co units coming in behind continuously. So you should convert to a an expansion and then carry on to a macro game um, because the all-in won't work. The whole point, if you have a stockpile of minerals, the whole point in a all-in is completely defeated. Um, placing the pylon, whooping in again. That's mainly a safety pylon, just in case. Um, just in case uh, he gets overran, which he won't do because he has all these objects going on. The guy didn't place any spores whatsoever, so that's his own fault. He's got the superior upgrade advantage. The lings, if I get one, I only have one, and that's on defense. Which is smart by the guy. He he saw he probably saw the one one tablets and he picked up the armor. Which is incredibly smart to do. And there's the banelings. And that is honestly pretty much GG. That is that is GG. Um it's a very quick game. Um I chose this game because it was quick. Um he doesn't he may he it might seem like I'm picky. But it's the small things that change the game. Like anybody can match units. Anybody can match units. It's not hard. Um, but there are specific points in this game um, uh, where things could have gone a different way. Mainly because he didn't scout until a very, very late period, and he didn't see the gas initially. That honestly could have changed the whole dynamic of the game. Um, while it, from what, if he hadn't seen the gas, or if there was quick gas, the guy could have gone Mueller's, he would have been unprepared because he didn't really have that many units for when the Mueller's, eight, eight, nine minute Mueller's would have come out, it would have destroyed his initial line because he honestly didn't have that many stalkers. So, the, the Mueller's would have completely erected his mineral line. Um, yeah, they would have completely wrecked his mineral line because he was unprepared, pretty much. That initial scout right there could have cost him 